sir, I am very unhappy with my hair transplant. Look at my hair day. It's so artificial. People say that you have got a bad transplant. These are some of the complaints that I get. So, what is hairline design? How should it be designed? To discuss these issues, I am here, Dr. Venkatram Mysore, hair transplant surgeon, dermatologist, Venkat Center for Skin, ENT and Plastic Surgery, Vijayanagar, Banshankari, Cunningham Road, Bangalore. What is a hairline and what is hairline design? Look at these images. If you look at it cursorily, you can't make out much. But this patient who visited us recently was very unhappy. He said, sir, look here, this is so artificial. My friends are saying it's looking artificial. What is unnatural in this? If you look at it closely, one, it is a straight line. There is no variation. Two, if you see the angles at this side, it is going down like this. There is no angle here. It is going down like this in an obtuse angle. And if you look at it even more closely, in the front here, you can see some two hairs, three hair units. And finally, at the hump here, temporal hump in front of the ear, the hairs are jutting out. And if you look at it closely here, you can see a couple of small bubbles also. These are the differences, these are the abnormalities here. Now, hairline design has to be designed carefully in accordance with the age of the patient, shape of the face and the skull, overall architecture of the face and patient's attitude. All these are important. To do this, we have simple rules. We have a general rule that the hairline at 25 is 4 centimeters from here and then it goes half a centimeter behind for every decade. This is a normal recession. The second feature is you get an angle here which is an acute angle. M shaped, M for man. That is the second one. And to determine this, we have certain formulae, certain calculations, certain angles and certain distances from landmarks. And we do it by experience. And in fact, if you see this book, this is my book on hair transplant, there is a separate chapter on hair transplant. It is an elaborate chapter to be dealt with very carefully. But for beginners to make it quickly, easily, we also have this instrument. This is a laser instrument wherein you can fix like this and design a hairline. This makes it easy and gives a referral point. This is a very simple thing. We use it. Many people also use it. That is one, the overall shape. The second issue is the irregularities. It should never be a smooth line. It should have projections, irregularly irregular projections, it should butt into the forehead. If not done, then that becomes artificial. Third is the creation of this angle, acute angle. M for male, I told you, so it has to be like this. In female, it is like this. In this patient which I showed you, it was more like a female hairline and that is abnormal. Some young people are very keen to have this corner filled. You can fill the corner, but the angle should be there. And finally, in the frontal hairline, you have to have only single hair. If you put two or three hair units, it looks abnormal. And when you put it, you have to go deep, flush with the surface. There should be no bubble or projection. Very important, the frontal hair should be a thin hair. Otherwise, it will look bushy. The hair from here is thick, not very suitable for this. So, we should choose thin hairs from here, keep them aside and then put here. These are very important to create a natural hairline. And then the issue comes of the temporal hump. This temporal hump means this is a triangular projection in front of the ear like this. This disappears with age. And creating this is very important to give a good hairline. But creating it needs expertise, needs experience. Because these hairs are very thin. If you put thick hairs, it looks ugly. And the hairs here, they run backwards literally like this. And at a very acute angle. Not easy to create. So, hairline design should be done only by surgeons with experience. What about the density? The frontal density should be as high as possible. 
45, 50, 55 is the usual density. If you do all this, then you get a good natural looking hairline. Sometimes people insist, I am 50 but I want to look like 30. They want to have a low hairline. Well, it will make it unnatural because the face has got three portions. One portion, second portion, third portion. So, if you make it short, it does not commensurate with the other portion. It looks unnatural. Likewise, with age, this mid and lower face, they start aging. But if you put a low hairline, that is a very young upper third of the face. That again looks unnatural. So, it is important to counsel the patient properly to do what is correct for his face, for his age in the right way. What does it all mean? It means that hairline design is of vital importance. One of the most important issues in hair transplant. Hairline design needs skill, patience, experience and expertise. So, for this reason, if you go to an unqualified person, he will put hair, but he will put hair unnaturally and then you will become very, very unhappy and regretful. So, please avoid it. At Venker Center, we have three hair transplant surgeons. I am a dermatologist. Dr. Aniket is a plastic surgeon. Dr. Deeksha is a head and neck surgeon. So, experience, expertise is available and we do ethically. So, I hope you have liked this video. Please share it. If you have any suggestions, please send it to us. Visit venkatcenter.com for further information. Thank you. Namaste.